very brief intro if you missed the first one. This is an IBC tote, a 300 gallon, 275 gallon uh, container that I cut with an angle grinder and a cutoff wheel to hold about 200 gallons with the idea of having a large compost tea system that is right next to our main high tunnel. So it's easy to dip a watering can and bring extreme nourishment, fertilizer basically, to the plants in there. A lot of neat offerings around how to hide the look of this. Right now I'm just, for the moment, just putting burlap sacks, that's what I had originally just folded over. Some folks encourage the idea of miscanthus or bamboo. If we have time, we'll get to that for sure. Um, very, very, very rough sketch about a concept that I have for how to cap the edges. This is kind of raw, not that nice looking is I'm gonna just make some black locust cutoffs that are simply the length of this, each of the sides, maybe with an angled cut on the end so that they can butt up to each other. They'll rest over the top, and I think what I'll do is just drive some screws on either side in a few places so it pushes down and kind of clicks in a somewhat positive way over the edge. And then in the fall, when we need to empty this, we can slip those off, put them away, and dump this out and store it. So it'll be a very, very simple wooden pseudo cap around the edge that we can put a few lightweight things, some watering cans, whatever, uh, but that'll be probably the simple direction that'll take. So then some actual thoughtful design upgrades. Uh, one is my original thing is I just basically threw a, a pile of leaves debris whatever in there and so it was floating around and that's fine enough if you have a cut off watering can or if you're using buckets you just dip in and move the muck aside but i've since thought through what would it look like to use bulb crates to contain the media the material so right now there's two of these stacked one on top of the other that are filled to the brim with weeds it was basically all the weeds that were in there um just soil and wood chips and comfrey leaves and whatever muck 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 and so the two of them the one on the bottom has a mesh on top in fact it looks basically like this the standard bulb crate hdpe plastic bulb crate and there's a lot of room for exchange with water and flow but it keeps the material contained. And the top one, my thinking is I can contain the material from floating around by putting some aquatic plants on top. So the default I think I'll land on is this Minari uh, or Korean celery, water celery. So it's a semi-aquatic plant. This is actively alive and growing and the root systems of this will keep the material pinned in. And in the meantime, we can harvest that and send it to the chicken. So it's a way to contain the material and organize it. When I want to refresh the batches, I can pull the Minari off, throw it to the chickens or set it aside, dump the containers as a mulch around some shrubs or trees as a hyper fertilizer, and then refill them, lay them back in and keep the thing going. And by doing that, now most of the water it's nutrified, you can see it's getting darker, but it's not completely laden with debris that I have to rough my way through. So then the biggest upgrade is I think I've worked out a very low complexity and pretty functional aeration system based on a Venturi pipe, which I will show here in a moment. Uh, so basically what I've got is a basket off to the side. This is repurposed from another compost tea experiment. It's a mesh that acts as a basic, simple filter, pre-filter to keep material from coming into here, although it doesn't matter all that much. And what I've got is a really, really simple bilge pump. This is what this one is for anyone that's interested. Very inexpensive. I think I got this for about 14 or $15, 750 gallons per hour. Probably could have been a little bit smaller. So basically it's a bilge pump that wants to lift water, but not a great distance. Oh, hello, Stanley. And so now the bilge can lift the compost tea, send it through a hose and back out, but has this little injector. This is a ballpoint pen PEX that I slipped into the end of the hose. And the ballpoint pen has a tiny hole drilled in the PEX that lets it go in there. And so basically as the water rushes by, it makes a vacuum and it draws the air in and adds air to a flowing stream of water. Let me show you 
by plugging it in. So this all runs direct off solar, very rough panel right here. At some point we'll figure out a thoughtful place that's out of the way. But if I plug this in, okay, so that's attached and we've got morning sun, nothing too crazy. This is a 100 watt panel, 150 watt panel, which is a little bit more power than the pump needs to run, which is nice. And here is a $14 bilge pump running water through a found hose that with the PEX slipped into the hose in order to constrict the flow a little and then a little hole drilled at an angle with a ballpoint pen stuck in there and then just taped very very roughly the water that shoots out is extremely aerated in fact there you go it is a very assertive amount of oxygen being injected into this now, and it is also stirring all the water. So we could have it up above like that if we want to see and hear the water flowing. Probably the most functional thing to do would be to modify this a bit and have this tube be quite a bit longer and then have this end right underneath our stacks of compost trays so that as the bubbles rise, they go up and through the media of the material and stir it, oxygenate it, move it around. But as of now, basically see it's like a reverse snorkel. You hear that vacuum, it's sucking in all that air. This is a Venturi effect, you can look it up. And there it is, both water movement and thorough aeration. If I close off the air, you'll see that what happens is it becomes more of just a flow of water. There's a little leakiness, so it's doing some oxygen, but when I open that up again, it's a straight froth. So for 14 bucks, direct attachment to a solar panel, I think I have an aeration and stirring mechanism um, that should work really nicely for this. But wait, it gets better. <laughs> so this is a really rough prototype, lots of leaks, but I think I can tidy that up. Or we have a friend that might be interested in doing some 3D design to print with recycled plastic, a better, more efficient Venturi that we can attach uh, this onto. But here's the thought that gets this exciting. The PEX that's in there, uh, a standard garden hose cutoff can slide over that end of the PEX. So now instead of taking watering cans and dipping in and bringing it to the high tunnel, we can slip a cutoff piece of scrap garden hose over the PEX while the sun is running. And as long as it's 50 feet long, then that hose can go all the way to the far end of this high tunnel and actively water with freshly oxygenated, aerated, uh, aerobic compost tea, which means our whole watering system can be fast and thorough and driven entirely directly off of sun energy, but with aerobic, healthy, bright, sweet-smelling compost tea. There's another design layer I want to add to this, I just haven't had time yet, and that is to run a dedicated length of hose off of our rainwater collection with a float valve, so that basically this keeps itself completely full all the time. Um, that would be the cream of the crop, and then getting the wood around the top, very simply, probably just burlap sacks for the summer because there's a lot of other stuff going on. But there were some really sweet ideas. What could it look like to build a little raised bed around this thing and have sweet peas or uh, cucumbers or some sort of climbing vine? That would be awesome. The miscanthus or the bamboo, that could be amazing. Maybe it's even tall enough that it becomes this trellis to shade what's going on in there. Uh, lots of additional layers that can happen here, but good enough for now for sure and now with the oxygenation i think it's going to be a really vibrant and healthy tea i just need to figure out how to get this longer which is just a length of hose that slips over the ballpoint seal that up a little bit and get this air injector underneath my crates i'll just put them on a set of bricks and then have that coming up maybe there's even a split in this so that one can go to another set of crates over here and have two risers of compost tea bubbling out. Our little mesh over there keeps the bilge pump from pulling in too much debris, but it's pretty much it doesn't care about that. And then here's where we can dip in for watering. It's really promising to see all that air and then also all that movement. That's it for this update. We'll do another one, I think, once we've got the wooden framed out a little bit, maybe a little bit more thoughtful 
hiding over here, what sort of other uh, floating aquatics can be growing in there. I wonder, do we figure out some sort of suspended mesh for all this leftover rice? Maybe it would be too oxygenated for them, but boy, could we grow rice as a byproduct or with the extra space that we have over here where we don't need to dip in. Lots more directions to go. Please give me some feedback. Does it make sense? Is it way off? Is it awesome? Is it bad? Open to all those different things. Thank you so much for watching.